Okay, let's talk about Volume Control Plus or VC Plus, which is available on the Puritan Bennett 980 and 840 ventilators. Uh, by the way, it's also the same function as the McKay Servo PRVC and the Dreger Auto Flow modes. They're all the same, they just call them something a little bit different. Before we go through VC Plus, uh, I want to talk a little bit about regular just volume control or VC which I have the, the uh, ventilator set in right now. It's attached to a test lung and right now we're delivering 400 milliliter tidal volume and reaching a peak pressure of 25. I'm not going to go through all the detail of this mode but just the ones that differentiate from volume control plus. So the first thing we'll talk about is the way it reads pressure and the way it delivers volume. So in regular volume control, it is targeting a tidal volume of 400 and it's also, the breath is also cycled or ended by reaching the tidal volume of 400. So the ventilator delivers the 400 milliliters and then it knows to turn the breath off and allow for, for exhalation. If the compliance changes, let's say for example, it decreases, the compliance decreases, that is the lung gets stiffer, could be from uh, pulmonary edema or uh, mucus plugging, bronchospasm, pneumonia, atelectasis, any of those things, uh, the compliance will drop. Let's talk uh, about something that could happen really fast though, and that would be secretions getting in the way. So I'm gonna make this lung a little less compliant, and what you're gonna see is, I want you to watch the peak pressure. It's going to still deliver the 400 milliliters, but the peak pressure is going to jump up immediately to its new pressure. And here we go, and there you go. So, still delivering 400, and it jumped right up to our new peak pressure of 33. Now, let's do where it hits the high pressure limit. Right now I have the high pressure limit set at 45. And so what we're gonna do is make this even a little stiffer and it's gonna hop right up to 45 and that's where it alarms. Remember that, it alarms when it hits the 45. Now I'm gonna take the weight off of the lung and make the lung return to its compliance. And what you're gonna see is that it's gonna hop down in one breath immediately. So I'll take it off. And now we're back at 25, which is about where we were before. So pressure jumps and decreases all in one, in, in one uh, breath in regular VC. And it alarms as soon as it hits the high pressure limit. And as you remember from school, as soon as it hits the high pressure limit, the rest of the tidal volume dumps and the patient doesn't get it. It has to dump because Otherwise, the pressure would keep going up in the patient. All right, another thing about uh, regular volume control is if you look at your peak inspiratory flow, we have it set at 50 right now. And I'm gonna say that when the patient takes a breath or a breath is delivered, it's gonna be at 50 liters a minute of inspiratory flow. And if the patient wants to pull more than 50 liters a minute, they can't, they cannot. So uh, in this mode, patients can get air hungry from not being able to pull as much flow as they want. So I'm gonna make that situation. I'm gonna pull flow very fast. And what you're gonna notice is that the pressure is gonna actually be pulled down. The patient's actually gonna suck pressure out of the circuit because they're pulling flow faster than it's going through the circuit. So it's gonna pull the pressure down. You're gonna see, there's different configurations, but on the pressure time scaler, you're gonna see a scoop uh, out of the waveform or a, a little bump. So let's do that now. You can see there, that was a big air hungry. Let's do a little gentler one. Okay, you see how it's rounded off, it doesn't, Actually, on this one, it's, it's pulling actual, a lot of pressure out of the circuit. And look at our peak pressure on the upper left there. If you see a really low peak pressure and your patient's really pulling, 
in VC, then you know that they're air hungry. And then it, what's weird is in this one, sometimes they'll pull so hard that you'll get a low inspiratory pressure alarm, but not a low tidal volume alarm. And that's important to keep in mind because when that happens, if you think about it with air hunger, the volume is still delivered, but they're just pulling all that pressure out of the circuit. So they might be pulling and exceeding that low pressure limit alarm. And so if you get a call or you notice yourself that you have a low pressure alarm, but not a low tidal volume or low minute volume alarm, and you're in VC, patient's probably air hungry. Okay. One more thing. Sometimes on air hunger, because we're using a decelerating inspiratory flow waveform, initially the flow is very fast, which by the way is really great because when the flow is very fast, at the beginning of the breath, it's filling the large airways and they don't build a lot of pressure because they're large. Then as the breath continues, inspiration continues, the uh, flow slows down when it hits those small airways. So it's a lot gentler, lower flow at the end of the breath when it's hitting the small airways, which is why a decelerated inspiratory flow waveform uh, always produces uh, more patient comfort because they get their flow at the beginning and it yields lower peak inspiratory pressures. So sometimes, back to air hunger, sometimes when the flow is high initially, the pressure will build, but then as it slows down, the patient wants more. I'm going to try to mimic that. There we go. Oh, it got cut off. Let's try it again. Well, you can see it dips there. It's hard to, to, to mimic it because the test lung is not like a, a real lung in a lot of ways but um, that's what it happens. So it'll, it'll initially be up and then it'll have a little dip right there. It doesn't happen that way very often. Most of the time, if somebody's air hungry, it's really scooping it out. Okay, so let's flip over to VC Plus. And so now what we notice is our uh, peak flow is now replaced with inspiratory time. Everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, how it reads everything is completely different though. And this is where the differences between VC and VC plus come in. So what's gonna happen, I'm gonna tell you about it before I actually flip it so you know what to look for. But what's gonna happen is as soon as I hit accept, it's gonna flip to VC plus. Now, how VC plus works, which again is the same as PRVC and autoflow, is that on the first breath, after I flip it over, it's going to do a plateau, and the plateau is really subtle. In fact, if you don't know what to look for, you'll miss it. It'll plateau that breath, and it will use that plateau pressure as its target to deliver the next breath. So what it'll do is, let's say that uh, it plateaus and it's 22. The plateau is 22. On the next breath, the ventilator will deliver flow until it reaches that pressure, the 22. It's not trying to get a volume as its cycle variable anymore. It's trying to hit that pressure. Once it hits that pressure, it'll stop delivering flow. And then it will look at how much volume was delivered. And if the volume was too low, it will raise the pressure on the next breath. And then it'll remeasure the volume. And so what it does is it will increment or decrement, that is increase or decrease, its pressure on subsequent breaths for by up to three centimeters of water pressure. Typically, if it's got a long way to go, it'll hop up by three. Compare the new breath volume. If the volume is too low, it'll hop up three more. Compare the breath. Once it hits the target volume, then it will stay at that pressure. So contrary to what a lot of people think, this does not limit pressure, it doesn't uh, control pressure, it just, instead of delivering a targeted volume, it delivers a targeted pressure and compares it to the set volume and will jump its pressure up and down 
in units of one to three centimeters of water until it hits that pressure. So essentially what happens is, well, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this real quick. All right, now watch for that plateau. I'm gonna point it out. Okay, here we go. It's that little tiny flat right there. It's very quick. And on the next one, you'll see it looks different. See, now it's more flattened. Okay, so now it's reading this pressure. And you can see it's the same pressure for the same volume, roughly, we give or take one. Now, let's look at our differences. Number one is in how it jumps pressure. So remember, in VC, when compliance changed, it went right to the new pressure. In VC+, plus, it will, it will go in increments of three in this case. So I'm gonna make the lung stiffer now. And should jump up. There we go, 24 to 27. My volume is low, so it's gonna raise it again. There's 30, still going up. Should be 33. Volume's going up, it's saying, nope, that's still too low. We're not at 400, so we're gonna go up again. Oh, there we go. There's our 400 and it'll stay there. Now, if I remove the stiff lung problem, it's gonna deliver the next breath at that pressure and the tidal volume's gonna be huge. And then it'll, it'll jump itself back down the same way it jumped up. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we go. And I should have a big tidal volume this time. And I do. And so it's gonna start dropping in units of three. Yeah. So in VC, remember it hopped up and down in one breath. In VC plus, it goes up and down in increments of three. So it's a little gentler of a swing in pressure. But this is also, the way this does, this hopping up and down by pressure, also makes this a terrible mode for somebody who's breathing really erratically. So if you have somebody in the ICU on a vent that is just all over the place on their inspiratory effort, uh, varying tidal volumes, they're bucking the vent, that pressure is gonna try to be playing catch up all the time and your volumes are gonna be all over the place. So uh, in, that's the one scenario where VC plus might not be a, a, a great mode. Now let's talk about the air hunger. Remember in VC, it was a limited flow, whatever the patient one they could not have, and only what the ventilator delivered. In VC+, plus, there's no air hunger because the patient can override that inspiratory flow and they can actually pull flow over the top so they never go air hungry. So I'm gonna make my patient air hungry. I'm gonna pull lots of flow. And you can see, look at that. There's no dip out of the, the waveform. I'm pulling a whole lot of flow out of there. It might be exceeding its capability. Now, I'm still pulling some pressure out of there, but it's delivering flow to me what I, at what I want. And you can see, look at my tidal volumes. In VC+, your patient can pull bigger tidal volumes than what's set. So that's a good thing too. So hopefully that was helpful for you to differentiate VC from VC+.